are we trying? We're trying. I don't even know what we're trying. Are we trying? Shut up, Jennifer. We're trying. <laughs> All we're doing is trying. <laughs> I'll live long day. Hello, I'm Jen. My name's Rachel. Welcome to our channel. We are Whiskey Geeks. Not Whiskey Snobs. So if you like all things whiskey. And you're not a snob. Subscribe! subscribe. We're trying a kind of entry level... But yes, we're trying yeah. some fruity whiskey that rhymes with a, with a fruit. Orangey! It's Glen Orangey! Um, so I've not tried this in a long time. Neither have I. I actually don't know if I've ever tried the original Glen Orangey. Oh, you will have. Do you think? Surely. I feel like there's quite a few like... a whiskey drinker in a pub. Yeah, I know. So I'm, I will have. I will uh, have, I'm you sure, must have. at one point. I'm sure you will have. So, very popular whiskey. Yeah. I don't know exactly how much of it's sold. No, but one... I was. I think lot. it's probably one of the top selling mm -hmm. in the world. Single yep. malts. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And it's one folk know. Yes. A lot. And we've said that in our pronunciations video. But often pronounced. Definitely, wrongly. yes. Um, Glen... So it's Glen Morangy, but people often pronounce it Glen Morangy. And recently I have heard it pronounced a bit Frenchly in Glen Morange. Whoa! Very, very exotic. Sorry. Very exotic. But it's Glen Morangey. Aye, like orangey. Like orangey. And the label is orangey and that's how you can tell. And the taste is a bit orangey mm. as well. So quite fruity, mm. quite light. I'll to tell you in a minute. Highland whiskey? You know Highland whiskey, yep. Yeah, it's up on the north east coast, kind of. Mm -hmm. Tain. Mm -hmm. Tain and that little bit north of Inverness. Right. Cool. Um, cool. So yeah, people will know of like the sixteen men of Tain. I don't where know who they are. Well, I, uh, they make Glen Orangey. Oh, oh. It the it was took sixteen men to run the distillery. I don't know if it does now, but right. it was sixteen men of Tain was the advert. Oh, I didn't know that. They've done a lot of stuff with their branding recently. That's trying to be a bit more funky and cool and young. I think. Oh, oh. What is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we we spoke to the giraffe. We do. I've we got, met their I giraffe. Can, I'm saying you have got a gift. I think of that. I oh, cool! Like yeah, we were quite. Cheering. We were quite confused with the giraffe. Yeah, yeah. So the giraffe relates to their stills. <laughs> yes, the, I think they say they're the tallest stills in Scotland. Uh huh. And they're the about the size stills. of a giraffe, apparently, depending on how large mm -hmm. a giraffe you are, I would presume. Yeah. Yeah. So, and they've also done some conservation work with giraffes. That's cool. As a consequence of that. Did they not also do some kind of conservation work or some kind of research to do with? some kind of sea creature. Ah, oh, they did! Yeah, Very you well know what it is. I don't remember what the sea oysters. Remembered. Yes, they were the first, I think, to work with a university to reinstate a type of oyster that was now extinct to clean the like the distillery waste basically before it was put back into the Tain River. Trying to be environmentally sustainable whilst also not interesting anything new so they're looking right, at yeah, one uh -huh. like oysters that are extinct in that area now i'm sure mm. it is oysters and then it they filter the water right, yeah because the oysters yeah, yeah, uh -huh. and then they t they purify it essentially before it goes which is cool you're using nature to help mm -hmm. nature yeah very cool very cool that does smell quite orangey it does i don't know if that's in my head now uh, quite like vanilla Mm-hmm. Light and fruity. Get, I get the pear drops a little bit as well. This one's just bourbon casks. That's That quite surprises me because I, I get yeah. quite a lot of like fruity and orangey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, not that orange is not a fruit, but sometimes in my house it is no longer a fruit. No. It becomes, it becomes something new. Well, because normally I have a mouldy orange, mm -hmm. but now I have a fries orange cream. Oh, see that so I feel like it's, I feel like it's morphed. Like, mm. the orange has just morphed into a fries cream. Like, if you leave it long enough, it'll turn into a fries cream. And what, what, is that its last stage of evolution? I or is think there so. another stage? And then you can eat it. I'll nothing. try that with a, a orange, see if I get a fries cream by Christmas. <laughs> Might take longer than that. <laughs> I mean, probably, actually, cause you've been sitting on that for a while, eh? <laughs> um, quite a... Uh, it's very light. Very light, very sweet. Quite Not getting all that much from peachy. it. Peachy. Peachy pears. It is forty percent, mm. and it is chill filtered. Makes me think of orange icing. Yes, that's a very good descriptor. Should we taste it? Slange. Slange. Mm. Mm. Water. 
Mm. Nice water. It's quite thin. Definitely orange. Like a juiced tangerine. A watery. A watery a, like tangerine. when yeah, when they have that when they're quite watery but mm. juiced. No no pith, no mm -mm, no, mm -mm. no skin. No bitter bits. Just all all the middle fleshy bit. It's um um it's a, it's watery, isn't it? Mm. It's nice, I don't find mm -hmm. it harsh mm -hmm. or anything. It's quite sweet and it's quite fruity. Whiskey for a summer's day. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Or mm -hmm. you could do that in different cocktails, I think, as well. I cocktail. think so, yeah. Very easy drinking. Mm. Really light, really light. Don't have to think about that, really. At really all. light, really light. Really, so really light. light. You said it twice. <laughs> the sun shines through this whiskey. <laughs> Perfectly pleasant. Yeah, yeah. I think that could be definitely a good one to give to a beginner whiskey drinker. Definitely, hundred um, percent. Mm -hmm. And they also own Ardbeg. They do, and I feel like that's the total opposite end of the scale. But that's probably two quite good ones to have on your on you know, if you're having two. Owned by. <laughs> you don't want to pronounce it. No, I do not. <laughs> um, Louis Vuitton Moe Hennessy, I think it is. There's Louis Vuitton, do they make bags? Yeah, so you could buy your handbags and your whiskey from the same one stop shop. Wow, wow, wow. All the things you need in life. That I don't even need a handbag. Handbags. I don't know what I'm talking about because I don't have a handbag. I just I rely like, on pockets. I do like handbags like a backpack though. I yeah, think I know. Louis We're Vuitton, not handbag people, are they, we? They would be, they would be shocked and appalled <gasps> at what I do to my bags. What I put in my bags. Oh my goodness. You think the mouldy orange at the side of my bed is bad? You should you see the inside of my bags. Most flapjacks in your handbag. <laughs> Clumps of bread I've found in that bag before. Like Jane, I you? know, so but I, I didn't get a chance to finish it this morning. I get it. it from my mum. She transports vegetables. But yeah, that's perfectly pleasant. It's nice. I quite like it. I think I like that better than I was expecting. I, it's thinner yeah. than I was expecting. I would love to try it like high ABV and unfiltered. I would love to try Same. the 46% version of that one. I, I've done a Glenmorangie tasting mm. and they were really nice. I think the one I liked the best was the one with the roasted barley, which is name I can't remember. Just dark in colour. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they do some cool things at Glenmorangie, like they are mm. quite like experimental and they roast extra roasted some barley and that one was lovely. It had like a real depth, similar to the Brickladdy Bear Barley kind of depth, yep. I thought. Yeah. They've also done a cool thing where they got some yeast from the barley that they were growing and cultivated the yeast and then made the whiskey with that barley and that yeast. That's cool. Which is cool. Very yep. cool. So have you tried many other stronger ones? Do you know the best one I've ever tried? The best Glenmorangie I've ever tried. And mm. I still have a bottle and I will bring it in and we can do a video on it at some point. But it's not opened yet and it might not be open for a while. Mm -hmm. Is the Glenmorangie Tale of Cake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I think it's... It's Tokai cask, isn't it? Which is wine. Which is white wine. I was going to say Sotern cask. Right. But Sotern and Tokai I think are quite similar. Mm -hmm. Just from different regions. Is, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, it's really, really amazing. Mm -hmm. So at some point I will share that. Mm. Um, mm. Very pleasant. Really nice. Very pleasant. Very drinkable. Not got much of a finish. No, dead, dead, dead. Not much dead there. In it. Yeah. But it's nice. Lovely. Yeah, like, yeah. Just a bit lacking, I suppose. Yeah, so it's a nice kind of, yeah, definitely a nice beginner whiskey, nice start of the evening, a summer day. Stop it. Sorry. <laughs> Was putting my glasses Stop putting it, it down, you need to cheers. Sorry. I can oh. see you turned like several times and you're like... You're right, because we've still got this because I finished my list. <laughs> it's down, on to the next. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you liked our video, subscribe down here and join us again next time. Slange. Slange. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. And you can follow us on social media at The Grail Tastings. See you next time. Slange. Whiskey yep. for a summer day. Yeah, yep. or end of the evening being like, I've had too much alcohol, that was like another little thing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have anything that would like some more alcohol. alcohol. <laughs> you wouldn't kick yourself for drinking that. No. <laughs> the next day. I've never transported a fish. So far. So far. Yet. <laughs> <laughs>